Hi there, Randall Schwartz back again, this time with some timely advice. Oh, you're going to hate me by the end of this presentation. Uh, so I was again cruising the channels looking for questions to answer, and this one came across. Uh, somebody was asking about adding a day to a time to step through uh, various days until they got to the kind of day that they wanted. I think they were looking for a Friday the 13th or something like that. But uh, I saw that they were doing it in a slightly incorrect way. And what's the problem? Adding a day doesn't add a day. It adds 24 hours. When does that make a difference? Every time we go into and out of DST. First, I want to say at the top of this, probably say it at the end again, DST is evil. We need to stop it. We need to get rid of it everywhere now, especially for all us computer programmers that have had to deal with uh, the mistakes Cron makes every spring and fall and all sorts of other things, and especially date time arithmetic. So here's the problem. Why is adding days colon one as a duration a mistake sometimes? So I have the date here, 2021, November 7, which is the date that the uh, U.S. changes their DST. Unlike the rest of the civilized world in the Northern Hemisphere, we start two weeks earlier in the spring and end two weeks later in the fall. I call these the two weeks of confusion twice a year because setting up international calls is just a nightmare. Um, so anyway, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show, because I'm going to actually pick 30 minutes after midnight local time, on that day in America slash Los Angeles, which is my uh, local time here. I'm going to throw that into a date time variable. Okay, uh, so this is DST ends, does that. I'm going to print it. I'm going to print its weekday. Now, it's doing the math so that I don't have to. It's going to figure out that this day is actually a Sunday. We always do DST changes in the U.S. on uh, early Sunday mornings. Okay, so I then uh, went ahead and talked, and I'm going to do an add duration days one, right? Well, that would take you off to 30 minutes after midnight the next day, right? No, you'll see in a moment when I run the code. Because this particular day, 2021-11-7, has 25 hours. And the corresponding DST change in the springtime has 23 hours. The, we see it easier with the 25-hour day, but it does have 25 hours. Because the DST happens around 2 a.m. or something like that. Okay. So I'm going to add a duration of one day, which actually works out math-wise to be 24 hours precisely. It knows nothing about DST because it shouldn't have to, and it doesn't. Okay, so we're going to print the ending span for this one day span but actually a 24-hour span, not an actual day span, even though I said days. DST ends. I'm also going to print its weekday. And you'll see that both of these are the same day. They're both Sunday. Now, demo gods, bear with me. There we go. There it is. So here's 2021, November 7, 30 minutes after midnight. It's a weekday 7, certainly. Yes, that's a Sunday. We just added a day, but look, it's 2021-1107 still at 30 minutes before midnight of the next day. Also a 7. Now, this can't be right, but it is precisely right based on the way DST arithmetic messes you up. Okay, so what's the proper suggestion that I make frequently? I go, do never, 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 never do add or any of that stuff in local time. Always do it in DST. So, fortunately, 
there is a f little tag I can put on the end of uh, U uh, 2UTC. And uh, let's, let's clear out the bottom so you're not confused by that right now. There's a little thing you can put on the end of your daytime. This is a local time here, but we're converting it to UTC. So it's actually mapping it to, I think it would be, on that day it would be uh, plus 7. So there's a 7 hour difference. It's going to map that in. Okay, we're going to print that just so you can see what time that ended up being. We're going to ask if it's a weekday, and it will say, in fact, 7 Sunday. So again, same thing. This is the exact same rest of the code. We're going to add a day, DST ends, we're going to print that. And again, 7 is Sunday, 1 is Monday, and so on. But So we're starting at the same time. We're still adding 24 hours. What day is it then? That's what we want to know. So we're starting... Um, 30 minutes past midnight local time, but we're doing the math in UTC. That's the important takeaway here. Always do your math in UTC. Boom. We run that. Now look what we got. We've got 7.30 in the morning as our starting time in Zulu. Zulu, so that's the UTC. And of course, when we call the weekday on that, we get 7.00. 2021 11.08. Look, it went to the next day and 24 hours later. Exactly what we would expect days one to do. But I started at the very same time. I didn't end up at the same time because we didn't have that crazy 25 hour day. And down here you'll see, yes indeed, we are now on Monday. We went from Sunday early morning to Monday early morning. And that will give us the appropriate time. Uh, what I didn't do is convert it back to local time. So let's see. Do I dare add more code while I'm here? Let's see. Print DSTNs, right? Dot to local. Just to show that I can't remember to put semicolons in. Okay, there. There are the codes. Happy? We save that. We run it, and you'll see, yes, this is, oh, oh, that's weird, right. So this is properly 24 hours later, but it's still 24 hours in local time, right, which is still on the same day. It's 23.30 later that day. So, yeah, always do your date math your differences, your subtractions, your duration adds and subtracts. Always do that by first going to UTC. Otherwise, you're not going to get the right result. And if you go to the um, spec on this, this is uh, from datetime.add, it says exactly this. Notice that duration is always 50 times 24 times 60 times 60 seconds for days 50. And if it has a different daylight savings offset, oh, I said savings, sorry, daylight saving offset, force of habit, then the result won't have the same time of day as this and may not even hit the exact calendar date 50 days later. And I like this. They did add this. Be careful when working with dates in local time. So I hope you uh, followed that and I hope you're uh, excited. By now having one new arsenal, one new piece of uh, arsenal in your, um, I don't even know what idiom would work there. Never mind. It's a long day already today. It, the 25-hour day was a few days ago. Anyway, um, enjoy and uh, click on all the things to subscribe. Click up arrow or whatever the thumbs up is and share this with your friends. Thank you very much. We're out of here, Randall Schwartz, until the next time. And please get rid of DST everywhere soon. Thank you.